Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Virtue Last Reward, the sequel to 999. Let's play the Nonary Games. I am the Flightless Bird. This is your story based gaming channel, and today we are with Clover and Quirk. And Quirk, by the way, is kind of passed out thanks to Sopo Veda. And Clover is apparently Ten Miyoshi's. Right, I said that wrong. Is apparently someone Tamiyoshi trusts. You see, I am so baffled by him saying that. I can't even say the sentence straight. I mean, that just blew my mind. It's not like, you know, anything else this game has blown my mind multiple, multiple times. But anyway, I believe we're in the magenta? No, we're in the green door right now. So we're in the green door right now. I'm about to hit his escape room. As usual, this means it'll probably be about two episodes. So expect cut halfway through. But stay tuned for the concluding episode the day after. Huh? Is this a dead end? Well, there are three doors here. But it looks like they're all locked. Huh. What's this thing? It's got a lever on it. Can you pull the lever? Come on, my hands are kind of full right now, carrying this kid. Oh, yeah. I can take Quark then. Why don't you just pull the lever? It would make things a lot easier. You really don't want to touch that thing, do you? Well, I mean, look at it. It looks suspicious. Like I'm going to touch it and whoosh, a bunch of poison needles fly out of the wall. Maybe if I had, like, a piece of wood to move it with or something. Why is everyone afraid of just touching a lever? I think it might be a little paranoid. Then you do it! Fine. Uh, I shifted Quirk over to one shoulder and flipped the switch with my free hand. You know, I was, uh, we were talking with, uh... Uh, yeah, we were talking on the, uh, the, on the, the YouTube today, uh, with Rebecca Michelle. And uh, she mentioned how buff Sigma is. And I wasn't thinking about that because, you know, Sigma, we never see Sigma because we're always looking through Sigma's eyes. And then I said, hey, wait a second. What if Sigma is actually Kay's twin brother? And she said, uh, I don't think I can handle that shock. Here's a bigger shock for you. What if Sigma is actually Kay? What if they're the same person at two different times in the timeline who have somehow, through some sort of paradoxical time loop, have ended up together? And that's why K is in a suit, because he can't tell Sigma, because if he does, the whole universe blows up. Okay, I think I got a little carried away there. But the fact that he could be his twin, um, I think that I think that's something that could be a thing, right? Anyway, let's go ahead and pull the lever. Uh, thank you, uh, Rebecca, as well, for uh, telling us your favorite waifu is Luna. I appreciate that. Luna is my favorite waifu, too. And, uh, yeah, a lot of love for Luna. Uh, some love for uh, Alice. Uh, I don't think I've heard Dio's favorite uh, waifu yet. Uh, come on. Comment in this section below if you haven't already. Favorite waifu. Favorite husbando. I want to know. See? Uh, no needles. Everything's fine. For now, only one of the doors opened. Uh, did you see the plaque on that door before it opened? I think it said something like treatment center. Do you think that's some kind of medical thing? Uh, first an infirmary and now this. Uh, why do I keep ending up in these places? I glanced over at Quirk asleep on my shoulder. Hey, uh, you know what? We may have lucked out. Huh? What do you mean? Well, if this is where they treat people... Maybe they've got something that can cure Quirk. Oh, yeah. Let's head on then, then. Okay. I don't think we've actually ever looked... Yeah, the, the only thing we've ever looked around in the treatment center were the beds. Or whatever you call those. Chambers? What are those? Yeah, exactly. Sigma's wondering the same thing I am. I love it when Sigma and I are on the same page. It says on the side, treatment pod. Treatment pods, okay. So I guess it treats people. Uh, maybe it can help Quirk. Yeah. Darn it, no good, it's locked. All the dots, 
Oh, uh, the acoustics like that. Uh, let's take a look around then. Maybe uh, something in here will tell us how to unlock this door. Okay. Clover nodded and bounced off to examine the room. Please don't get separated again. You know, where you're in one part of the room and I'm in another and I have to unlock the door before you like burn to death. I lay Quirk down outside of the door to the treatment center. Clo Clover may have been overly paranoid about the lever, but there was no harm in being cautious. Hang on there, little guy. We'll uh, get you fixed up soon. I ruffled his hair gently. I then turned and headed back into the room. I had some investigating to do. I sure do. Seek a way out. <laughs> Sounds good. Let the escape room officially begin. Okay, as always, I like to start by going left to right to see what this escape room looks like. It looks like there's a little bit of movement on the sides. Okay, so it actually does a weird uh, thing here. Yeah, it's like an L shape. It, we sort of follow the walls all the way around. Okay, um, normally I say we should start at the exit door, right? And then we go left. Well, I want to look at the plant first. Uh, plant. It's all withered up. How sad. I bet it hasn't been watered. Yeah. Did you notice there's something stuck in the trunk? Yeah, looks like red plastic. Uh, let me have a look. I'll see if I can pull it out. Huh? It won't budge. Yeah, it looks like someone planted something inside that plant. Uh, uh, I, I think it's uh, stuck on something. Guess we have to take the whole thing then. Huh? Well, that red thing is probably important. Yeah. Ah, uh, you're probably right. Great, we got a gigantic plant that we're lugging around now. A uh, withered plant. There's a bit of red plastic sticking out of the trunk. It's in there real good though. I can't pull it out. This is the exit. It's locked. This says lock on it. It must be what's keeping the door shut. It looks like just like the other one in the infirmary. Yeah, we saw one in the quick quarters, too. So, in order to get out of here, we're gonna have to find the key that fits it. Yeah, that's how it worked before. Alrighty, then. Let's continue to go left. We have a clock. With no hands. Well. A wall clock. Nothing strange here. Really? Really, Sigma? Really? What? Are you serious? Are we even looking at the same clock? Everything about it is abnormal. Oh, uh, really? Uh, it totally looks like a regular clock to me. Oh. My. Gosh. Okay. Abnormality number one. No hands. Oh yeah, I guess it doesn't have any. What do you mean, you guess? How could you miss that? Uh, so sorry. Anyway. Abnormality number two. There's some weird green glowy thing. Oh yeah, there is. Uh, what is that? I guess there's no way to know without taking it out. But there's a clo- There's a cover, right? You can't get to it. Yeah, and it won't open. Shoot. Well, duh. There's no way it's gonna be that easy. Uh, so if we want this green thing, we have to figure out a way to get that cover open? Yep. Abnormality number three is the hole on the bottom left corner. Huh? I wonder what it is. I think it's probably a keyhole. Oh ho. Then that means... Wait. We can think later. I've got two more points of abnormality. All the dots. Number four. Turn your attention to the other side of the clock. Specifically, the bottom right corner. What do you think these are? Uh, they either look like key cards, memory cards, possibly memory cards, because we see memory cards that look like that, right? Well, there are two slots, painted red and green. Uh, do you think they're for memory cards? Aha, you see, I love it when Sigma and I are on the same page. They sure look like they are. And I've saved the best for last. 
Abnormality number five is about number four. Yeah, I I saw that one pretty easily. Huh? Look, see what says number four on the clock face? Actually, it doesn't say number four. It says no four or N04. Uh, you're just assuming that it says number four. That number four is the fifth abnormality. Ah, yes, I see. It's rather odd. Uh, does that mean this is the uh, fourth clock? All the dots. Anyway, these are the five weird things about this clock. Where were you looking, anyway? Uh, at the clock? Then your eyes must be worse than I thought. Well, I am wearing glasses. Um, oh, you mean Sigma. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, let's see. A clock with no hands. So there's no number four on the face. And below that is a strange object that glows with green light. The cover is preventing me from getting whatever it is out. There's also what looks like a key hole in the bottom left corner of the clock, and two holes that look like they're card slots on the bottom right. Okay. Looks like it repeats that, so we can come back to that later. We got a binder. I'm going to look at that first. Looks like there's this piece of paper in it. It says how to open the pod room door. All right, we find instructions. So let's go ahead and get this too. A tablet. Uh, there's a message on it. Four pieces for the first password. One piece for the second password. What the heck is that supposed to mean? If I touch it, the screen changes. Uh, enter a four digit password, then press the enter key on the right. Uh, uh, open. Open. No, doesn't work. How about fail? No, nope, doesn't work. How about safe? How about we move on from this instead of guessing random words? <laughs> you know, if one of those would have worked though, I would have been floored. I would have been like, what the heck? Are you kidding me? Darn it. I'm stumped. I know I need a full letter password, but that's about it. Wasn't there a message on the tablet before it got to the password screen? Uh, you mean the one that says something about four pieces for the first password and one piece for the second password? Yeah, I think that's supposed to be a hint. Uh, maybe, but it doesn't seem, really seem like enough. Four pieces. Four pieces. Okay. Four pieces for the first password. So is it just the number four? Alright. Maybe not. It was worth a shot. <clears throat> yeah, I should probably look around the room a little more. Got it, got it, got it. We don't need to look at this safe. We know what the safe is. Oh, right. Uh, uh, archives. Door puzzle instructions. Uh, the door is protected by a four-digit password. You can use the, the hit blow count hints. What? The hit blow count hints displayed on the screen to figure out what those four digits are. If one of the numbers you select is a number in the password and in the right place, that will add to your hit. One of the numbers you select is number in the password, but is not in the right pass place, it will say blow. You get 10 tries for each password. If you exhaust your 10 tries, the password will be set. Okay. Um, I think we've looked at those before. Okay. Hit and blow. All right. Shoot. Uh, one open. There's a control panel in the middle of it. Yeah, uh, I think that's how you unlock it. The door can only be unlocked with the correct four digit code, okay. Yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, so what we need to do is we need to enter in all the numbers to figure out which numbers work. What does that mean? One hit one blow does not tell me which one's a hit and which one's a blow um one two three four one hit one blow five six seven eight one hit Okay, so we know nine, um, 
One, two, three. One hit two blow. Nine, one, two, three. One hit, two blow. Okay. Uh, so we know three of the numbers are nine, one, two, or three. Question is, which one is wrong? It's got to be a five, six, seven, or eight. So what I can do is I can do nine, one, two, five. One hit, one blow. Okay, it's not five. One hit, one blow. Before we had two blows. Okay, so one hit, one blow. And before we had two blows. That means number three is definitely one of our numbers. But it's not in four. It's not in slot four. Okay, and we have one hit again, so that means nine is possibly in the first spot, or well, one is in the second spot, or two is in the... No, we have one, two, three, four, and it was a one hit, one blow. And four isn't a number. So that means... I'm pretty sure nine is in the first spot. I'm pretty sure nine is in the first spot. That means two, three, and four have to be one of those numbers. Um, man, this is making my brain hurt. Let's do nine, one, two, six. One hit, two blow. One hit, two blow. Okay, let's think. Let's think. Let's think. So the numbers are not five, seven, or eight. Six is a number, but we don't know which one it's in. So let's do nine three, six, and then one. One hit, two blow. So does that mean one is not a number? Um, nine, six, three, two. I am a genius. Oh, we're just really lucky with that one. Um, but no, I just kept deciphering the numbers. Uh, which ones were hit, which ones were blow, which ones hit, which ones were blow. Figured nine had a few first. I knew three couldn't be in four. It says it wasn't in uh, two. It would have to be in three, moving the other one. Yeah, and so on. Woohoo! Man, that feels good. All right, we're already off to a good start, which means the next puzzle probably gonna kill us. You did it, Sigma. Looks like that was the answer. Uh, whoo. That was lucky. Yeah, probably was. <laughs> anyway, it seems to have unlocked. I wonder if that actually randomizes every game. Like every game, there's a new randomized number because it did say after 10 tries, it would reset. So it makes me think it is randomized in some way. All right, please let there not be a demonic bunny that's really big that's gonna jump out at me. Or anyone else jumping out of pods. Alright. Let's go to a blank thing here. Looks like there are three pods. From the left, pod one, pod two, and pod three. There are numbers on them. You just can't really see them from here. All the dots. All the numbered dots. Also, they got, um, handles. 
Maybe they're for opening the pods up? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we got a key. There's something in here. A key? I think this is called a temple key. It's pretty thick too. Temple, because it's got temples on the end? Possibly. All right, let's check treatment pot. Actually, this looks different though. Look at this. That's not on the other pots. What is it, 715? 715. This is a clock. The hands are pointing to 715. Are you sure you're reading it right? Yeah. See the 12? That's the top. Sigma, do you not know how to read clocks? Come on, dude. Let's open door number two. We got another key. This one looks like a regular key. Yeah. It's a key, isn't it? A silver key. This just looks like a normal key. Have you seen any cue holes that this might fit in? Uh, maybe we do have that. Ooh, hello. What is this? This is 620. A clock, huh? Did you think it was a nipple with two hairs growing out of it? Wh uh, huh? What? No, ah. Uh, um. Moving on. Of course not. The hands are pointing to 620. Hmm. A, a nipple with two hair? Oh my god, Clover. What is wrong with you, girl? Seriously. Ah. Uh. Alright, this had something on the underside there. I saw it. 11 1. Although, it's probably not 11 1, it's probably 1 11. I'm guessing it's 111. It's upside down. This looks like a digital clock. 11 hours and one minute. No, I, I'm pretty sure it's uh. Does it really mean 11 hours? No, I'm pretty sure it's just inverted and upside down. Anything in here? Pod three. There's nothing particular odd in the bed. There's a time right now on the inside of the clock. It looks like a digital clock. Okay. So that was pod three. So pod one, pod two, pod three. Cool. Oh, oh, what do we got here? There's a message on the screen. Maintenance complete. Please insert activation chip. Uh, what does it mean about an activation chip? Well, I guess it's a chip we insert to activate the pod. You think? Why are you being like that? This is important, we... Okay, okay, I get it. We need to get Quirk into one of these, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, mess on screen is complete. Uh, please insert activation chip. There must be activation chip somewhere. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Do they all say that? Uh, currently undergoing internal maintenance. Please stand by. I guess we can't use this one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the screen says currently undergoing internal maintenance. Looks like we can't use this pod either. All right, so we found a couple keys. I swear, if Quirk was just suddenly standing up and staring at me through the door, I would have jumped out of my seat and like ran for the hills. Um, I would have noped out of this game so fast. I would have been like, nope, plane later. Time to stop. Okay, let's see here. Um, handle this. Uh, huh, that's strange. What is it? The key doesn't fit. Hmm. You think maybe the key goes somewhere else then? Uh, like where? Oh, we have another key too. There we go. Aha! It's open. Huh. Well, I guess I'll grab this thing first. What is this thing? A uh, chip with no one written on it. Or number one written on it. A uh, chip with green light on it. Not sure what it does. Okay. Do we put this on the back of the uh, thing here? No. Okay. It's worth a shot. I do notice that this thing is actually closed for once. Very rare that that happens. We need to give this thing hands. Okay, what else do we do though? 
Oh, we haven't explored the rest of the room. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, uh, we got to the door and I kind of went through the door. Yeah, let's explore the rest of the room, shall we? There are three treatment pods in the pod room. There are numbers on the end of each one. Reading from the left, there are one, two, and three. Okay. There's another plant down here. Look, there's a plant over here, too. Uh, this one's pretty healthy. It's got a piece of plastic stuck in it, too. Uh, looks like this one won't come out either. Well, guess I'll be carrying around with another plant then. Another healthy plant, okay? What's this button? I see a button, I gotta press a button. No, I can't press the button! Uh, there's a button underneath this screen. Push it then. I tried. Right. And there. I was about to say, nothing happens. <laughs> hey, it turned on. Looks like uh, there's something on it. What the heck is this? Yeah, exactly. I wasn't even reading Sigma's words there. I was just saying, what the heck is this? And that's what Sigma said. Again, Sigma and I on the same page today. This is so great. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Phone went off. Don't love hearing it in the background. Um, I'm actually going to put a pause in the video for just a few minutes, and I'll be back, okay? All right, I am back, and uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. Uh, dad called. Wanted to make sure I called him. Because I love my dad. Best man in the world, I, let me tell you. Anyway, uh, what the heck is this? Exactly. That's right. What the heck is this? It says start in the corner there. Maybe it's a board game? Uh, hmm. Yeah, I found an image of a board game. We can review it in the archive. Start one, two, three, four. Uh, this makes my brain hurt. Okay. I was just thinking, maybe this is some sort of password hint. Huh. Yeah, it did say four pieces, right? And on the left, it does say four. Come on. For the tablet. It had some kind of login screen, right? Yeah, so? Well, you need a four-letter password. And we got the numbers one through four on the left side of the board game looking thing. Don't you feel like there's got to be connection? Yeah, I do. I, I'll i have to look at, actually. I'm going to have to look at it now because we don't have any other clues. Uh, this is going to make my brain hurt. Actually, we have not looked at the line yet. Once again, it's the lion! You know, Dio has been making fun of me constantly, saying that I am imagining lions everywhere looking to eat poor, defenseless, flightless birds. But I'm telling you, the lions are everywhere. You see? There's a lion right there, shooting laser beams out of its mouth. I mean, that looks scary as heck to me. Ah. Uh. Nice lion. That's a pretty realistic painting. It's a really, really, really real lion. Don't sing in a whisper like that. It's creepy, especially when I do it, because it's even creepier. It looks kind of like he's coughing up a hairball. <laughs> okay, no, that was funny. Yes, it does. I think he's trying to eat something, not cough it up. He's trying to eat a hairball? Uh, probably something else. What? I, uh, I don't know. There's just a hole there. So we need to put something into the hole? Okay, um, that's, yeah, that's what we need to, yeah, I think so. A uh, picture of a lion, there's a circle of hole between his jaws. Oh no, I forgot to do the timer. Oh, I forgot to restart the timer. I'm so sorry, you guys. Oh, invalidated all the work that we've done in this game now means absolutely nothing although i do have a um i do have an ability to like record time and see how much time has passed so what i can always do is uh when we're done with this room i'm gonna watch the video back and try to figure out how many seconds uh elapsed between this moment and the previous moment and i'm gonna figure out what our actual time in this room is so once again, I do apologize for that. I am sorry. 
Oh, I'm so sorry. My bad. Uh, picture of a line. There's a circle hole between his jaws. Okay. Jellyfish! Oh my gosh. Aliens. <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're just jellyfish. Aliens. Uh, there are three jellyfish. Two yellow ones and a purple one. What's that inside the purple one? Is it digesting human flesh? What is with Clover in this world? Uh, why would you even think something like that? I don't think it's meat anyway. Look at it. It's too solid. I think it's a tile of some sort. Hmm. I wonder if we can uh, get it out. Uh, there is a keyhole. Uh, I mean, a key up here. There's a lid on the tanks. You can't open it? Uh, nope. Looks like it's locked. Well, it's got a keyhole. Then I guess we need to unlock it if we want to open it. Actually, a really good idea would be, um... I just realized this. After this video is done, I'm going to pause the timer. Then I'm going to resume the timer um, in the video. And I'm just going to watch the video while the timer ticks up. And then once I get to that point where I hear myself say, say oh, I forgot the timer, I'll stop the timer then. And then I'll have pretty much an exact time. Haha, -ha, you see? We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Then I guess we need to, uh, then I guess we need to unlock it if we want to open it. Uh, Sigma? What? I think you can unlock it right now. Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. Uh, now should I, now I should be able to open this thing. Uh, what the heck? There's a second lid. Yeah, but it's got a hole in the middle. If you stick your hand in there, maybe you can grab that one with the meat in it. It's not meat. Whatever. Let's give it a shot. Ow! Ah! Uh, hot! Darn it, the water's really hot. Really? Really. Then these bubbles... Yeah, it's boiling. No way. No jellyfish could survive in boiling water. All the dots. They are aliens. Yeah. Uh, we should, uh, try and get the purple one to rise up to the top somehow. If we can get it right under the hole in the lid, I think I can grab it. You can move the three jellyfish by using the directional buttons. Move the purple jellyfish to the hole using the water currents in the tank. If you moved one of the jelly yellow jellyfish to the hole instead, you are a failure and we are very disappointed in you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm crying. <laughs> That's so unexpected. It's so funny. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Whoa, what is this? Okay, so. Alright. Now, if I go right, yellow one's gonna go right. So I gotta go down. I still can't go right. Um, ha-ha! I'm a genius. I'm a genius. That puzzle was so easy. Man, I am two for two on puzzles today. What is going on? Uh, I went to my parents' house today. We had fajitas. Maybe my mom put, like, super stuff in the fajitas and, uh, maybe, like, really smart. Although, I did forget the timer. So... Hmm. Anyway, I gotta grab a f jelly fast. What the heck? Uh, jellyfish and fast, cause the water is hot. All the dots. We got an artificial jellyfish. This is, uh, Ellen. She's a mysterious uh, intelligent life form from the outer reaches of space. Oh dear God. So first we have, um, Mr. Hoppington, was it? Uh, and now we have Ellen. The Mysterious Intelligent Life Form Artificial Jellyfish. Will you please stop naming animals? I can't keep up with this. Don't give it a name. Here. Here, take it. Hey, stop it. What if it uh, grabs onto my face and lay eggs in me or something? 
Aha, uh -huh. it'll be an improvement. I mean, uh, come on, it just wants to give you a hug. <laughs> Oh, this room and the golem room are top tier for me so far. Besides, it's not even alive. It's a thing. Man-made, like a toy or something. But it's disgusting. But it's digesting a chunk of meat. But that's not meat. Then what is it? Uh, hold on. I'll, uh, pull it out now. We got a circular tile. What happened to Ellen? It's human flesh. Uh, no, it's not. It's a ceramic tile. Oh, well, yeah, I guess it is only red on one side. I know exactly what to do with that. Yep. Fits perfectly. Yeah. I don't think I did, I did anything, though. Look. Huh? Hello? Oh, what the heck is this? A uh, laser? All the dots. All the dots. Gosh, I didn't think there'd be something like this behind that picture. A uh, laser. Uh, this thing is shining a laser beam across the room. Okay, let's look across the room then. Okay. It's pointing to pod three, which had the 111. I can see three pods. Anything else with this giant laser? Hmm. Maybe if we go inside? And we open this up. And we look up here. Aha! Look at that. It was not 111. It was... 015? As in, uh, 1215? Look! The laser's added stuff to the time! Yeah, it looks like it's 015 now. Okay, let me, uh, cross this out. And write 1215 or 015. Okay! The laser has all the numbers, now it says 015. Alright. Where do we go next? We still don't have the um uh, We still don't have the uh, the hands to the clock, right? And we definitely need that before we can do literally anything else um, We also need the memory cards We got that puzzle. We got that puzzle There's the board game thing Okay uh, what am I looking at? M. M. M K A S. M A Y. H. H. I don't know how to read this thing. Um Screens is playing the image of something that looks like kind of like a board game. Whoever thinks this might be the hand for the tablet login. Tablet. Screen says the following. Four pieces for the first password. One piece for the second password. If I touch it, the screen changes. Um, do you think maybe pieces can be like the pieces in the board game? Yes, I do. I just don't know how to count them. Pieces? Don't you remember what it said on the tablet before the password screen popped up? Like four pieces for the first password and one piece for the second password. Those pieces. Uh, okay, but what board game are you talking about? You already forgot? No, I know, I know, I know. I just don't know how to... I don't know how to read this. 
four pieces for so could it just be tobc or do you start at m and go around so it's m k a s uh what i need to do is i need to copy this down by the way how are you guys doing today i hope you are having a wonderful fantastic day uh let me just copy this down real quick t o b c n c uh j p s g f m k a s uh y u and then going up we have r h l and then over here we have one two three four and in the middle we have m with the thing that looks like this and then h which is opposite okay four pieces let's see uh if we start at m and we go around you have m k a s I knew it wasn't gonna be easy. Um, how do I read this? H? Okay, it's not that one. Four pieces. Oh, I knew my luck would run out sooner or later. I was doing so well on these puzzles too. Uh, uh, T O B C. What if you stop at M? So it's S G F M. No. What if you go the other way? S A K M. Huh. Four pieces. And it says going around to M and then going around to H. What does that mean? Like, I don't know how to read this. That's a problem. I don't know what password I'm supposed to put in here. Clovis said it might have something to do with the board game. We should go have another look at that board game, I guess. But we did look at the board game. And I have it copied down. So you start at T. And then what? It says one, two, three, four. How do you read this? How do you read this? Hmm. Let's see. T O B C N C J P S G F M. You go around to M. See, this right here says you go around to M. And M is down here. So, I was thinking that you count this way from M. And then I tried counting this way to M. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.